Hello, hello, hello. Y'all, you already know we finna get in soon. We finna get into these messages, see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Also, what I forgot to mention when I recorded the videos earlier is that I think it was either, I think it might have been yesterday. I seen somebody, um, they ended up, a, a person made a comment. And then another person reacted to that comment, but it wasn't nothing funny about what you reacted to. Now, I know you see me up here taking up for people in their situations when it comes to whatever come across this table, right? So why in the hell would you think that I'm going to sit up here and let you troll the people that's commenting and saying whatever they want to say up under their videos if you don't get your if y'all don't listen. Listen. Yeah, it's one thing you do it to me. Okay, I might say something to you back. I might not. Or something might come across the table about your ass. <laughs> but one thing y'all not going to do is disrespect the people that support me. That's what you're not going to do. So watch that shit. Or your ass will get removed. Your ass will get blocked. And you'll have to create another motherfucking page or whatever the fuck y'all do. To continue to listen. Don't disrespect nobody that supports me. Or makes comments up under the post. Unless they being disrespectful. And even then don't do that. Because vengeance belongs to Yahweh. Don't disrespect nobody that's supporting. And you know don't do that. And, you know, it, today is my response is actually lighter. Because I, yesterday I wanted to tell your ass a thing or two. Don't do that. Yeah, I'd be laughing at the people that be talking to me, talking shit about it. <laughs> but one thing you're not going to do is disrespect the people that support me. Go on, take your ass somewhere else. <clears throat> Anywho, I hope you all are having a good day. You already know what we about to get into. We finna get into these messages. See what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? Okay, we have judgment in reverse. <sighs> so somebody feel like something is unfair. Somebody could have made a bad judgment call or made a poor decision and they think it's not fair. Okay. This person could have failed to learn a certain lesson or something like that. There's an athlete that made a poor decision and they don't think it's fair whatever judgment they're receiving. Is this person playing some type of sports or something? So yeah, there's an athlete that plays some type of sports or they play some type of sport and they just don't think it's fair. Um, they don't think their judgment is fair. We're going to see what's going on. But it looked like, you know, failure to, failure to learn. This person feel like, you know, some false accusations. Accusation. <laughs> we got here with the old school courtship. Dating, karma. Hmm. Somebody, somebody could be somebody's soulmate, and they like you know the accusations and the the judgment is is just it's not fair. Them receiving some sort of karma, it's not fair. What's 
to um, somebody can see 333. They said that shit ain't fair. Yeah, th this this person is 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 going against that shit. They said that shit ain't fair. <laughs> For real, they like uh uh, they reveling against that. This came out sideways, but this person could have been like not a team player or corny. Something could be happening during a holiday or something like that with this person. Something could have happened around Christmas. This person could feel like they was manipulated. And you think it's funny? Tricked, fooled. They say that ain't fair. <laughs> that shit ain't fair. You think it's funny? They got tricked, they got deceived, they got fooled. That shit ain't funny. And that shit ain't fair. They shouldn't have to receive no karma for that shit. So this person could have chose somebody over you. We have parent. They could have chose somebody to repeat after you or copy after you. But they said that ain't fair. They got tricked. <laughs> it ain't fair. Besides, we got out here. This person could be a Scorpio, uh, um, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, a Capricorn, a Pisces, a Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. They got them signs somewhere in their chart, or they could be one of them signs. <laughs> they said it ain't fair. You, you think it's funny and shit that they got tricked. <laughs> and that shit is not fair. But this person made some sort of poor decision, and they feel they failed to learn something, but they just feel like their karma and these changes and whatever is going on, it's not fair. So they kind of like reveling against it. They feel like they was fooled and tricked and deceived. Somebody was disloyal to them. That's how they feel. Shoot. This person could have been listening to what somebody was repeating about you too as well. If it's not that they chose somebody to be copying off of you and repeating after you. They was listening to what was being repeated by an entire community of people. So they just feel like, shit, it ain't fair. <laughs> For real. They feel like it ain't fair. The community was saying that you was a hoe. So it's just not fair. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? But that was some type of illusion that was being painted about you. The community was saying that you was some type of hoe. So it's just not fair. This person feel betrayed and shit, but you the one who got disrespected. This Emperor King of Pentacles. See, they, they felt like, but they didn't understand that this was wisely planned to deceive and delay this person from talking to you or dealing with you or whatever the case may be. But the community says you was some type of hoe. And they just feel like it ain't fair because they got tricked. The community said it's slow. Don't deal with that person. They, they got ulterior motives. 
They gonna cheat on you. They gonna steal your heart and play you. That ain't no goddess. <laughs> oh, hell no. Yeah, that, that communication was coming in quick about your ass. So somebody could have mentioned you and... So this person ended up making a quick decision because everybody was trying to play you like you was some type of hoe. Mm -hmm. So this person made a quick decision and impulsive, knight of swords, and they went against you and having some type of new beginning in love with you or awakening to love with you. Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles. So they just chose to listen to what other people was talking about and they balanced they. They balanced their life out elsewhere. So they was against celebrating with you. Even though you could have brought them peace or you brought them peace, they just, mm-mm. Uh -uh. And the whole time, you was they soulmate. <laughs> and they made a major decision to go in a different direction. Damn. And the whole time, you ain't even no whole virgin energy. You're, you're innocent. You could even be angelic. You could even be celibate or abstinent and don't even deal with nobody. But they said you was a hoe. Maybe because the way you express yourself, the way you dress, your artistry, they just looked at you like a hoe. So this person let a groupy, shallow, obsessive-ass fan block them from making a decision about how they looked at you. So there was somebody that was a groupie that tried to blind this person from who you was they were speaking petty about you and you could even be loving too they wanted they wanted this person to walk away from you yep but this person was being sneaky though like they could have wanted something or they wanted somebody to miss an opportunity that was it Mm, mm, mm. wanted you to hold back your energy in, in a, a situation so this person is sad and they feel betrayed and they like well shit you judging me a little too harsh ma'am <laughs> you judging me a way too harsh shit <laughs> hold on oh man I just can't. <laughs> I don't even want to finish this damn read. <laughs> so, these people, these groupies did this so you can block out communication with this person that you wanted to date. <laughs> or make an offer to surrender it and miss the opportunity. So, they put negativity in your ear so that you know you can drop their ass and I told y'all the signs of the masculine the signs of the feminine could be this woman could be an air sign a water sign or a fire sign Whatever this is, it ain't nothing but a headache. You hear me? A headache. Huh. <laughs> it's to the point where I don't even want to fucking finish this shit. But somebody, you know, they rebelling against that shit. They like, hell no, nah, you being way too harsh. The judgment too harsh. Everything too harsh. I was tricked. I was fooled. <laughs> But you didn't, did you ask the person? 
Like, what's going on here? This reading giving me a headache. It's, it could be too many people involved, or... Uh, whatever this is, it's annoying. But this was a lesson that you was supposed to learn, though. You ain't supposed to be listening to what everybody else talking about about somebody. You're supposed to find out for your motherfucking self or follow your heart. Failure to learn a lesson. You always letting people do this to you and get in your ear about people. Shit. That's what it looked like. <laughs> you failed to learn. We have released your guilt. You could be burdened with guilt. You feel guilty. You need to release that. <sighs> you need to release that. We have once upon a time with the phoenix rising. How's that for a happily ever after? Raindrops. Take a chance on them. And then we have here, homework, take yourself out on a date. And then bottom of the deck, something will grow from this. So, basically, whoever you is, you need to release your guilt. Because you holding on to that shit so tough, like. It's like, it's suffocating and shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you need to release that shit. Woo. Let that guilt go. You you let the, you let devious people influence your decisions. Okay, sometimes you know that happens. But it's just for you to learn your lesson and, and follow your inner guide, your inner man. Pray about it. Have your connection with the divine. Ask the divine what's up. Then follow your heart, you know, ask the divine to lead you in a direction. Not all of these other people in this community of people. You had a whole community of people telling you somebody wasn't nothing but a hoe. And here it is the whole time. They are a pure energy and they don't even be having sex. <laughs> and then possibly this person don't even date either. These people looked at this person and just automatically got shallow because of the way this person expressed themselves through their art or through their fashion. They said, oh, that's a hoe. <laughs> and this person don't even date or be having sex with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you, you got tricked, you got fooled, but you need to release that guilt. Because, shoot, we get tricked and fooled by the best. I tell y'all, listen, Lucy, slick, Satan, slick as hell. And if you don't got that connection to the divine, where you where he'll point that out to you and for you to see that shit, oh, you will get fooled. You will get fooled so hard and it'll be so crazy. Like, and I'm going to just tell you, <laughs> even with my strong connection to the divine, I be surprised sometimes when... He let me know, uh-uh. <laughs> I'll be like, what? <laughs> I'll be so shocked. Because with your naked eye, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> You're thinking some legit shit, man. you be like, oh. Hell, especially the ones that be, you know, claiming them and talking this and talking that. You would be surprised. And I have been surprised, okay? Even sometimes I had to laugh my damn Because <laughs> it was this one time, too. Let me tell you. <laughs> Hold on. Can I share this? <laughs> let me see if I can share this real quick. All right, I can share this with you. Look, <laughs> this one time, right? Okay, you know, on the internet and stuff. Okay, I'm on the internet. And, you know, as far as like with my gifts and the things that I have learned, I learned from Yahweh, right? 
So I had came across this person. It was advertising like a school, right? Or like a like like a group for like prophets and prophetess, right? So I'm like, well shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people like me, you know? So <laughs> So I'm like, oh, okay. And then, you know, I was listening to some of the things that she was saying and shit. So I'm just listening. I'm like, oh, that, that don't sound half bad. <laughs> so I, I asked, you know, I had to pray about it. I'm like, you know, what about this? <laughs> And the answer was no, but also the cicada flash that I had, like what happened, like basically after I asked, it was like something like, <laughs> something about to be in the motherfucking outfield fucked up. <laughs> we don't mess with the motherfucking ops. And then I got to thinking like, well, yeah, because as far as prophets and prophetesses go, you can't learn that shit at no motherfucking school. <laughs> The divine instilled that in you, and you heavenly taught. <laughs> so <laughs> I was rolling for a good minute because the message that I ended up receiving it came through after I asked that shit. But it's like quite a few people that enlisted in that school because they feel like, <laughs> but that ain't nothing to the divine support. <laughs> so it's a lot of times where, man, if you don't have that connection and the divine can't point it out to you, you could get fooled. And even with me having a, a, a strong connection and I, I done seen myself get fooled sometimes, I'd be like, damn, I ain't even see that. <laughs> I ain't see that going on, you know? So, I'm telling you, it, it's, it, especially when you ain't, you know, got the connection that you need and you ain't at one, so you ain't at one with the divine judgment in reverse. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you can get fooled. You can make some bad judgment calls. That's why also it's important to have that relationship. So, that's going to happen. You know, release that guilt, man. We all be messing up and making mistakes now. That's why we got a guide, Yahshua, our guide, you know, we go, we go mess up. We going to make mistakes. So release your guilt. I don't know what you did to set the shit on fire, <laughs> but you need to burn that shit up. You need to burn that shit, get that guilty shit up. Okay. And then we have here, take a chance on them. So I don't know if this is the person that may need to take a chance on you that, you could want to take a chance on somebody or this could just be a message to the person to maybe take a chance on you, but also don't forget to, you know, cater to yourself and take yourself out and stuff too. And we have housed that for a happily ever after. And then at the bottom of the deck, something will grow from this. So even if you don't end up getting with this person, something going to grow from it. You're going to learn a lesson. You're going to learn about who you around. You know what I'm saying? You're going to learn to trust your own instincts and to pray about certain situations. Um, you're going to learn a lot. Like, it really, like, you know, you can say you take losses, but it really don't be no loss. Like, you either learn, you you learn and, you're, and you grow from it. It's only an L if you want it to be an L. <clears throat> Confirmation. And look, right up under this, something will grow from this. You can manifest your every wish. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to manifest. You know? And then even if you come to this person and they want to swim away from you because they're scared, you know, you, you got to understand that because you tried to play them for a community of people that was hating on them. 
So if they do want to swim away from you or they feel a little bit afraid because they don't trust you or whatever, you know, that's understandable because you tried to play them. And they don't even, <laughs> they they might dress a little, you know, however they want to dress. It looks like they dress all different types of ways. And people was just like, uh-uh. <laughs> but no, this person, celibate, if they, if they, if they could be celibate or they could be abstinent or they could be both, they're actually a pure energy. But hey, players fuck up. <laughs> players fuck up because it looked like your ass a player too, though. <laughs> That's what it looked like to your ass a player. Players fuck up. And you can't even lie. Like, you was happy to hear that dumb ass shit. <laughs> you even was repeating the shit. Get your- You just knew. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. (sighs) Sometimes you gotta lie. You just knew. You was happy as hell. Oh, shit. To hear some shit like that about that lady. You owe you owe that lady an apology, and you owe yourself an apology for listening. To that. <laughs> oh shit! You know it. <laughs> Let's get three keys, please. You know it. <laughs> Damn, they're Oracle too. <laughs> or you went to an Oracle, or you may have went to somebody. Let's see. We have Parenthood. You went to an Oracle that's a mom or something like that. Oh, oh and they smoke weed. They was high giving you. <laughs> Messages about your soulmate or somebody you could have had a connection with. <laughs> 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 oh shit! You went to a, a a high priestess or a reader. Oh, that's a mother parenthood that be smoking weed, delivering people messages. That motherfucker ain't clear. <laughs> Because listen, that's another one of the reasons why I stopped smoking because I'm delivering people messages and they need to be clear, right? When you smoking weed, even though weed, you know what I'm I used to smoke weed. I ain't got no, you know, no coral with the marijuana, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all my reasons why I stopped smoking. One, after I, you know, read about it and, you know, information, um, I stopped smoking because when you're intoxicated, no matter what in toxins you put, you know, if you popping pills, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, taking a mushroom, whatever you got going on, snorting coke, whatever. When you doing those things, you are not clear. That is just the facts. That's just what it is. You're intoxicating yourself. So you don't see things actually as they are because you're intoxicated. Regardless of how you feel about it, regardless how you view it, regardless how you see it, that's just what it is. You are not clear. You're not seeing the world and things as they are 
and as they are actually made, you don't even feel the things that you need to feel as they are and as they actually is because even when you smoking the weed and shit, because even when I used to be smoking shoes, you know, anything going on, you're stressed out, smoke a blunt, you did it, smoke a blunt, you know what I'm saying? So you altering your state. So you went to the, you, and this person can even be a, let's see, is this, is this person a parent of yours that, can, that got the gift of sight or something like that? Is this this person's parent? No. It's just a reader that's a parent that smoked weed that they went to. <laughs> and <laughs> so you could have been getting, okay, I see. So you you really did get tricked and bamboo like a motherfucker for real. So not only was your community telling you that this lady was a hoe, then you went to go seek some sort of spiritual counsel from this oracle. And she was probably high. <laughs> Honey, she probably doing the shit for her kids, you know. <laughs> Reading messages and shit. <laughs> oh, shit. She could be in her 30s or 40s. Late 30s. Early 40s. <laughs> and you was listening to her, you know, with the information about your soulmate. So I get it. You know what I'm saying? You... You heard what the people were saying physically in the community. Then you then you went to an oracle to get some more information and they told you some bullshit about your soulmate. So I see I see what all happened to you. So but we'll see if the judgment too harsh, because your ass was happy to hear it though. It's about your heart though. <laughs> it's about your heart though. Cause you was happy to hear that shit. Your soulmate could be a model or like the model. <laughs> you was happy to hear that. <laughs> so it's about the purity of your heart anyway. <sighs> the vibe feminine. <laughs> your person of divine feminine, man. This shit silly as hell. And they look divine masculine. <laughs> And then goddess. This person, the whole goddess. And you was looking at them like a soul tie. Or you had somebody that you was looking at as a queen that you had a soul tie with. Whoever you made your queen, that's just a soul tie. It could be a little kid here, or y'all got some kids or something like that. That ain't nothing but a soul tie. Or this person got some kids, but you was looking at them as your queen. That's the soul tie. <laughs> that ain't that ain't no, you know, spiritual connection like that. That's a soul tie. You had a goddess divine feminine, and you, you know, it's deception here with your queen. <laughs> this person could be bossing you around. You in a karmic cycle. You could even be dating your boss or something, or it's something going on. But whoever you chose as your queen that you got a soul tie with, there's hidden intention and deception there. And it's a karmic cycle. It's something that you're supposed to learn from, not build with. Uh, we have the mirror. Yeah, whoever that is, they probably mirroring to you what you is. Or this person could be trying to mirror somebody else. This is crazy right here. <laughs> okay, so this person is trying to mirror somebody else here. The throne. The vision. I am. This person is trying to mirror somebody else. This focused on the bag. Could be an introvert focused on the bag. Somebody that's woke. They trying to mirror that person. <laughs> and they see. Hell no. Nah. This person could be an empath, a healer. 
maybe you already know that the light is being shined down on it. That's why you feel like it's unfair. But you got to take accountability, man. <laughs> You do. You you, you got to take accountability. We're going to pull some love oracles. You, you, you got to take accountability. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. It is all too much. I said it. Listen, this is some shit. It is all too much. You ain't lying. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. So you could want to change, but you know, make sure you change for you and not just because you want to change for this person and you feel like they deserve better. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you also change it for yourself because that's the only way to change and be permanent. If you just change for this person, you just acting. You could have some trouble expressing yourself because it was a lot of drama surrounding whatever this was. Mm, 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 mm. That's crazy. And whoever that high ass. <laughs> that high ass oracle lady. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you feel a lot of passion about this person. The passion is too much too. You feel like you feel like this person understands you. And you you well, you can want to tell this person that they was they was right about something. They could have said something about something, and you could be like, oh, you was right. <laughs> oh, man. I got to get out of this message, though. It's just too much. Whatever the energy is, you right. It's, it's intense. It's too much. Whatever the hell this was, this shit was drama filled to the max. And hell, it's draining me even uh, reading about it. <laughs> so... Basically, let's see. Is the judgment too harsh for old boy? Is the judgment too harsh for old boy? No, because what the hell was you doing? <laughs> you must have did something. <laughs> you did something. So the judgment really ain't too harsh for you. Um, what else? Oh, what's the element of old boy? Is old boy an air sign? A fire sign? A earth sign? Old boy, a earth sign? Is old boy a water sign? Hmm. So old boy is an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yo, judgment really ain't too harsh because you could have rolled the fuck out of that wave and you did something. <laughs> you ain't just you ain't you ain't just go along with what these people says. You did something extra. Your judgment ain't too harsh. You did something else. And you know it. <laughs> you know it. But since you know it, correct it. You know what I'm saying? Correct it. Between you in the most high in between you and yourself because you got a lot on you i can feel it you got a lot on you and i can feel it it's that's why i'm trying to hurry up and get <laughs> now. no i'm trying to get up out of this read now i've been here for almost an hour so what is the element of old girl is she a fire sign an air sign a earth sign, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So the girl is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The man is a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But you was happy as hell. To... <laughs> I don't know what you did, and I don't feel like pulling to find out either. But you know what you did. Your judgment ain't too harsh, but... You have to forgive your. You have to ask the divine for forgiveness, and you also have to forgive yourself. You know, and then you know, make things right. However, you want to make things right. You know, follow your heart. That's all I can tell you, bruh. 
we have here, Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Yahweh holds the hands of his people. Protection prayer. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then we have here, with Yahweh, all things are possible. Surely Yahweh is my help and Yahweh is the one who sustains me. Yahweh delights in his people and he crowns the humble with victory. And then we have here, thank Yahweh for his gift that is too wonderful for words. I thank you and praise you, Yahweh, for you have given me wisdom and strength. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. The words of Yahweh are pure. So basically, you know what I'm saying? This is what this person could have did, you know? <laughs> they called on the divine and they got the help that they needed. So maybe you want to take a page out of their book, you know? and call on the divine because you could be in trouble and your trouble could even be with yourself because even though these people was in your ear even though you went to this uh <laughs> even though you went to that oracle you know to seek counsel um you need help okay you need saving from yourself Ask the divine to clear things out of your path that needs to be cleared out. You can also pray and ask the divine for a heart transplant to change your heart, you know, to change your heart and mind. And he'll begin to do a work on you, you know, because you're in trouble, you know, with you, you because you feel weighed down and guilty and all of that, you know, for what you did to this individual that was pure. You did this to a pure, a pure hearted individual. Not perfect, pure. And yeah, so just talk to the divine about it. See what you can do, you know, for yourself and with your relationship with the Most High, you know. And be sincere with it. Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good Yahweh is. All angels shall encore and all before and before the glory and all before Yahweh's visible power. So I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.